Let's talk about multifocal motor neuropathy. So multifocal motor neuropathy is a progressive motor neuropathy and it can mimic ALS due to it causing asymmetric weakness and the progressive nature of the disease. It is thought to be immune mediated and one of the features you can see is that people with the disease can have anti-GM1 antibodies but it is only seen in 30 to 80 percent of patients so not all patients have it and it's a little unclear what the antibody what role it plays in the disease it happens more commonly in men about three times more likely and the mean age of onset is in the 30s and 40s for clinical features the onset is subacute lasting for over a month and commonly begins as a focal mononeuropathy such as wrist drop. It's more common to have your initial presentation in the arms than the legs. But then the disease progresses into affecting multiple motor nerves. So because they are focal neuropathies, then the weakness typically presents asymmetrically and that's why it can be confused with ALS. The sensation is normal, although you can have mildly abnormal vibration in the legs. The cranial nerves, bulbar muscles, and respiratory muscles are typically not affected. There can also be no upper motor neuron signs. Fasciculations and cramps can be seen, and atrophy can be seen as well. For evaluation, Nerve conduction studies will show conduction block consistent with focal demyelination in motor nerves. Note that this finding is not always seen and there is multifocal motor neuropathy without conduction block. The sensory nerves are going to be normal. The CSF is also going to be normal. A motor nerve biopsy can show axonal sprouting and MR neurography can show hyperintense T2 signal and fascicle enlargement on the affected nerves. For treatment, this is thought to be a immune-mediated neuropathy, so IVIG is the treatment of choice and can improve the weakness for a few months, uh, but then if the patient gets worse, then that will be followed up with maintenance IVIG. Treatment is started if the activities of daily living are affected or if there is significant weakness. For prognosis, multifocal motor neuropathy is slowly progressive if untreated and can cause significant disability, and it also does not spontaneously remit.